Well, you hear it quite often. The community is really the eyes and ears for law enforcement. And in this Crime Trackers report, News 4 Tucson's Lapita Murillo spoke with one resident who helped the Pima County Sheriff's Department. Even in this gated community of La Paloma, some criminals learned they can run, but they can't hide. It was a, a silver Honda that was parked there, and it did have a, a, a neighborhood sticker on it. And the alarm went off for at least a minute, so I knew that the gentleman that jumped in it didn't have a key. This is the man Pima County Sheriff's detectives say was in the car. He's 32-year-old Daniel Gastelum. The resident did not want us to identify her. It, it's uh, very hard to get in here and walk around without somebody noticing because we all do know each other very well and there are a lot of walkers starting at 5 30 6 in the morning in this neighborhood everybody kind of keeps an eye out for each other it's that suspicious activity and a gut feeling something wasn't right that prompted the resident to call 911 and alert the front gate then i noticed that he went down into the back seat and covered himself with something which was very suspicious, so I immediately called 911. When sheriff's deputies arrived, they say they found 32-year-old Gastelum right where she said he was, in the back seat. They searched the vehicle and found stolen property. The person responsible for the vehicle is 25-year-old Diego Barrias Longoria. He was arrested on a federal felony warrant. So through that investigation um, and through learning about what else had been stolen in previous uh, uh, cases, Detectives were able to uh, identify a third person uh, involved. That's 27-year-old Juan Mejia, Jr. Detectives found that he was using uh, a credit card that belonged to somebody else. It was also tied uh, with uh, Daniel Gastelum and property that was found uh, during this incident. They also found evidence of other crimes that had occurred in the area to include a burglary at the Red Door Salon. Investigators say both Gastelum and Mejia were charged with possession of stolen property and fraudulent use of credit cards, all thanks to a resident who saw something and said something. Detectives believe she likely prevented other crimes from happening. Because she was so aware of her surroundings and called this in. We, I've said it before, community policing truly takes an entire community and that's what happened in this case perfect example of it we're very fortunate that uh, our gate and our, our security gate and our sheriff's department is very responsive here the resident told me she figured it was better to be safe than sorry and it paid off she wants the others to do the same if you see something say something lupita murillo news for tucson